Today, we're going to take a look at Ansible. We're going to look at Ansible 2.8 and the new module and the new lookup plugin that allows us to publish and consume messages from a rabbit message queue. Why would you want to do this? Well, perhaps Ansible is not the only tool in your tool chain. And perhaps you have a existing message queuing system, message bus in your environment, and you need to get messages from Ansible onto that bus. Maybe you also need to consume messages from that bus. So we're going to take a look today at how to publish messages and how to consume messages as well. But why hasn't this already been done? Historically, Ansible has been a config management tool, and that's been used to configure the application, in this case, Rabbit Message Queue, Rabbit MQ, on a virtual machine or a container. You can set up things like users, exchanges, bindings, all sorts, right? So historically, that's where it's come from. But when I came to want to publish to a queue myself out of a playbook, it didn't exist. So today we're going to look at the, the new module and the new plugin that's going to help us do that in 2.8 on onwards. Yeah, fourth industrial revolution, you know what it's about. This the future where big data is just stored in a cloud. Networks, automation, internet of things, ain't no doubt. Even talking robotics, AI to DevOps, yeah. Industry 4.0, you know we steady making moves. Uh, modernize, time to upgrade, enhance and improve, yeah. Manual work is the past, can't go back in time. Uh, industry 4.0, automate or die. All right, here we go. We're going to check out what I've got in the lab first of all. Have a quick look here. In the management interface, you can see RabbitMQ. There are currently no queues there. So we're going to find out what happens in a second when I publish to a queue. We're going to go check out the documentation very quickly on the, on the Ansible site. This currently, as you can see, is in the development uh, documentation. But shortly, and by the time this video is out, it's probably mainstream current, 2.8. So we're gonna check out Rabbit MQ Publish to start with. One thing to note here is the requirement. This module requires the Pika Python module to be installed on the system that you'll be sending the message from. In a lot of cases, this will be, this will be the Ansible control host. In other cases, perhaps you want Ansible control host to talk to another host to send the message through that host. Wherever you're sending the message from, wherever you're publishing the message from, you need Pika installed. I'm going to jump straight down to the examples here. And we're going to jump right into a console and basically put that in and see what happens. There's a whole bunch of other options obviously available up, up the top there, but let's see this in action to start with. All right, so rabbit MQ publish. It would help if I could type properly. All right, starting a new one. I'm going to syntax off. I don't know about you, but I struggle to see blue on black. Same. So facts, no posts. Localhost, so we're going to send this message from localhosts. Uh, tasks, right, here we go. Get that formatting right. All right, pretty basic one here. Let's see what's going to happen here. As it's a container in my lab, I'm just using the default credentials as you can see here. We punched in the URL. So AMQP, guest and guest, connecting to the internal IP address, port number, and basically the virtual host we're going to send the message to. It's going to hit the test queue, and we're going to say hello world, as, as you should. Content type, plain text. We'll get to that in a second when we look to send an image or something else onto the queue. There are going to be some custom headers put onto this as well. 
Obviously headers are useful for uh, giving a bit more metadata about the information on the queue. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn on debugging for this. Let's check out what happens. All right, good news is we can see one thing's changed. So it looks like it has succeeded in sending a message onto the queue. I should be using the word published. Published a message onto the queue. All right, let's have a look. What do we got? We've got the test queue. And we've got one message. So let's get that message and see what it says. All right, let's just go back, enable the browser and have a look what we've got here. So you can see one queue's popped up. Got one, one message in there, ready to consume. We're gonna get that message and have a look. All right, routing key, test. So that's our queue name. Then you can see the header information, my header. That's the header we put in. And the payload, hello world from Ansible. How cool is that? All right, so let's do something a little bit more crazy with this. Let's get back here. Let's put about, I don't know, 100 messages onto the queue. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Maybe we should do this. With sequence start. Gonna have to look this up. All right. Well, let's do count. All right. With sequence count equals a hundred, and we'll put in here the item number. All right. Let's spam that queue. Run again. Maybe I'll disable the verbose debugging there you go let's have a look at the queue let's switch over let's see it go up <clears throat> the queues 40 messages ready you can see that cranking up there you go plenty of messages there for us now to go and consume let's take a look at a couple well, check out 12. Okay, you can see there they are. There's our item incrementing. And we're up to 11. So starting at zero, the first one we published. All right. So that's pretty cool. But there's another feature I just want to show you very quickly. In publish, you can also send a file. You can send a file to a queue. Let's just check that out very quickly. All right, so we've got this Ajax loader GIF file. Now we want to send that onto the queue to be processed. When we send a file, this module will try to also determine the MIME type, or we can override it by giving it our own MIME type. It's going to guess pretty well at the GIF. It's going to work that out. So we're not going to modify that. Let's go and create that. Let's go and create that playbook now. Publish file. All right, I'm just going to leave that there for a sec. So Ajax loader, get over here. It's your time to shine. All right, here we go, Ajax loader. We're gonna publish it to a different queue this time, uh, but the same URL, and let's see what happens.
All right, that's looking pretty good. Go back to our management interface. Go back to the queues. Now you can see in the images queue, we should have one message in there with an attachment on there. So we're going to get one message, see what's in there. All right, here we go. So in the headers, you can see that the file name Ajax has been added for us. So you don't have to worry about doing that custom header yourself. Content type, image, GIF, and obviously the payload right there. All right, so now we want to consume some messages off the bus. Let's just take a quick look at the browser and have a look at some of the documentation on the lookup plugin. Jumping straight to the, the examples, but maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should also mention here that the Pika um, Python module is also required for this one. Now this count parameter will allow you to select how many messages you want to consume from the bus. In this case, we're going to grab two off the bus, but if you want to grab everything from a specific queue, just leave it blank and it will take the whole lot. Whether you really want that or not is obviously up to you, you know best. All right, let's get back to our console. type too quickly really need to update my MRC something a bit better for this system <clears throat> right now we're going to dump out the messages let's tidy this up a bit doesn't look particularly good in fact I don't like that One thing I've noticed here is the IP address needs updating for your environment. Uh, the queue is wrong as well. That's the queue we're using is test. Let's run this. There we go. Two messages off the queue. Headers intact. Let's grab the let's grab the images one. <clears throat> Now I'll remove the count. Let's grab all images off the queue. There it is. Gobbledygook. Winning. All right. Well, that's it. We've just looked at how to publish messages onto a queue. We've also looked at how to consume messages from a queue. Next time, we'll take a look at how to use the Pika Python module and also Ansible Runner to make it a bit more dynamic, should I say. We will make a little application that subscribes to a queue and then when a message hits that queue, automatically hits the Ansible uh, playbook. That's where the cool stuff starts to happen. Until next time, take care.